After spending years in a bear market, miners seem to be turning the corner. Our next guest says it may now be time to focus on revenues if they want to keep attracting investors. Joining us now is Ken Hoffman of Bloomberg Intelligence. Ken, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's start, Ken, by talking about that statement. Miners have benefited from the rally in metals prices this year, but you were telling me that maybe they shouldn't get too comfortable just yet. That's right. I mean, I think what the gold miners need to realize is in the past, the miners just would focus on their cost and whatever the price of, of gold, say, would do or copper would do. OK, that's fine. Let's we can't have any uh, any any worry about that. But this year is different. You've seen tremendous volatility in the price of metals. tremendous, uh, really back to financial crisis volatility. And so what we're saying is take advantage of that volatility if it's Chinese retail buying you know, and they can buy, you know, billions of dollars in metals in a day and really move the price, 5, 10, 15 percent in some metals like iron ore, take advantage of that and go out there, buy some puts, buy some way to keep your revenue stream. And I think this is a great environment for miners to go out and smooth out the revenue stream. And you've seen that. There's a, there's a company in Canada called New Gold, which for $7 an ounce has locked in $1,200 to $1,400 gold. I think that's a really smart play in terms of it's a relatively low cost. It gives them quite a bit of upside, but it protects their downside just in case the bears are right, right. and gold falls below $1,200. $1, so can you say the growing popularity of ETFs among investors has brought about this need for change with gold miners? So why do you think that is? Well, I mean, what, what the ETFs have done, you know, it's the World Gold Council came up with the first major ETF. And everyone thought, wow, that's great. It's going it's to take all this gold off the market and help the gold price go higher. The problem was it created a new, very liquid uh, vehicle for investors, mutual funds, et cetera, who couldn't invest in gold directly to go into the ETF. And what it's done is it's taken all the money that would have gone into gold equities and put it into the ETFs. Why do they love ETFs? There's no risk there of you know, a mining company making a bad acquisition or a government seizing property or any other risk that miners have. And so they've taken all their money out of the gold equities and put it into gold ETFs. Now, if I'm a gold mining company, I'm getting a lower valuation than I did in the past. And so what investors are telling us now is what the gold miners need to really do is focus on cash flows. Because a cash flow is something in a world where you know, there's just no interest rates or no dividends. is something that these guys can sort of lock in at certain periods of time. And that is the benefit of owning a mining share. All right, let's talk about gold now. What do you make of the metal's recent strength? It's having you know, a great uh, week here so far. Is the fundamental and technical picture favorable for gold right now? I mean, one of the most interesting things, you know, two weeks ago was uh, London Precious Metal Week, which we call it, over in London. And I go over there and meet with a lot of the uh, precious metal traders and analysts, et cetera. What they've really noted about this year is a shift from first you've seen a lot of hedge funds really take some of their currency allocations and put it into gold. Now, gold on the Bloomberg terminal is considered a currency. But if you ask most mutual funds when they want to take their money out of stocks and put it into currencies, they'll put it into francs or pounds or euros or dollars. If they start adding to that basket because they're very worried about what the central bankers are doing, they start even putting a small amount of that allocation into gold as a typical currency that they can move in and out of, that really changes things, and that's very beneficial for gold. Well, and if an investor wants that exposure, Ken, what's the best uh, route? Is it physical ETFs? Is it the mining stocks? What is it for you? Well, I mean, it all depends on what you're looking for. If you're really looking for the upside of exploration, et cetera, you're going to look for the gold stocks. I mean, they still are well down where they were a few years ago. If you're looking just to move in quickly, if you're sort of someone who just wants to have that gold allocation as part of you know, your 5% allocation of gold, you're going to go to an ETF. And mutual funds are going to go to ETFs because, again, the liquidity of it, they can't get that anywhere else. All right, Ken, thanks so much. Always good to speak with you. All right, thanks a lot, Danielle. And thank you for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow.